Hello everyone, Niklas Seidloff here again from IBM and OpenNTF. In the second video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the tools and controls that are available for developers on OpenNTF.org. Just before I get started, real quick again, in addition to our website, we also have a mobile interface, we are on Twitter, and there is a YouTube channel. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the project XPages Framework. This project contains a couple of utilities that makes it really easy to develop applications that look like other Lotus applications. This look and feel is often referred to as um, One UI. Here's a simple sample. It shows you the main elements, the tabs at the top, the main tabs, a two or three column layout, in this case two columns with the navigator and the main content pane. And at the bottom you have the footer. So let me create a new database from scratch on my server. I call it One UI, and uh, I choose the template here called XPages Framework. It creates the database for me, and it opens the the default user interface, um, as you can see here in the notes client. So when I go to Designer, the same database. Um, first thing I need to do now is to change this file resource layout properties. And here I can declaratively define the look and feel, the base um, layout of my um, application. So let's say my, pad, my page, I add now a page to the um, main tabs, call it my um, page XSP. And also I create some entries here in the um, sidebar navigator. Uh, let's say home test. Okay, and now when I open this, the um, default page here in Firefox. Um, you can see this application with the two links that I created in this in the sidebar navigator and the new tab at the top. Here's the new tab, my page, here are the other sidebar um, links. And this um, link refers now to my page XSP, which doesn't exist yet. So in the next step, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I create a page here, my page, and I um, you know, can now choose whether I want a two um, column layout or a three column layout. I'll just pick this one here. And now um, you know, it, allows you, it allows me to drop in other custom controls here. Let's say the sidebar navigator, that's the control I've shown you earlier. And for the main content, I just create quickly my own custom control here, call it test test and um, I can now take that and drop it in here. Now let me save this page, go back in Firefox and now click this button here, this link, right? And it brings up my own test page in just a second. Here we go. So this is how easy it is to implement your own um, web application using one UI. There is another mini framework called XPages Mobile Controls that has been used to build the smartphone interface for OpenNTF. Let me show you how that works. Um, it's supported on WebKit-based smartphones and in order to demonstrate that I use Apple Safari that comes close. So here you can see the list of the last 10 block, <coughs> block entries. When I click on one of them, the document is loaded and displayed here and as you could see there was no flickering which is because Ajax is used to load the document. And similarly, if uh, in order to do the view paging here to get the next um, 10 view entries, I can click the more button and again, without any flickering, the next entries are loaded. So technically there are a couple of interesting things. The code shows you how to use these meta tags to make the style look like a native application. The hash.js from Dojo 1.4 is used in order to do um, the page navigation that I've just shown you. And also the code shows you how to use the XPages partial refresh get to do the Ajax call in order to load the document. And in order to get the next 10 documents in the view, um, you have to write some client-side JavaScript code that you can see here. In the catalog on OpenNTF, there's a category called reusable controls. Reusable control is an arbitrary set of design elements packaged together in an NSF it comes with unit tests and documentation. 
Developers can use that code by copying these design elements and pasting them in their own applications. That can be done either manually or via an import tool. You can go to the home page and then app, apps installation, scroll down to number two, and you can find instructions how you install this tool that I'm going to show you now. So let me show you how it works. I've created here a completely empty database with nothing in it. I open it in designer and it comes up right here. Now I can um, um, say import. I can um, choose reusable control from OpenNTF. It brings me up this dialog here, um, which is the same set of controls that you could um, see previously. Um, so now I need to pick a download directory. Let's say this one here. Okay, and uh, I choose the control, or in this case, the two controls that I want to import. So I say import, the zip file is downloaded, extracted, and in the next step, when I click finish, um, the code, the design elements are imported into my database. So now when I open this database here, um, you can see two new controls showing up here, and also unit tests. So when I open this, um, the first one here, in Firefox, you can now see that one of these controls comes up. It's a control that shows profile information that comes from the Bleed Yellow Lotus Connection server, in this case for myself here. The next control is a simple voting control. Let me show you how that can look like. I can um, choose one of these options here, let's say 8.5 and vote, and this graphic comes up. When I go back and choose 8.0, you can see the last one here um, has been increased. The data is stored in the NSF and technically it's interesting since you can see in here how the, uh, the Dojo class charting.chart2d is used. The next control is called RSS feed X page control. You can embed it in your own X page and in my example here I embed it to display the block entries from OpenNTF and I can open a specific entry from here. Technically it's interesting in this custom control there's JavaScript um, that calls another JavaScript function here in my JavaScript library and from here it calls a Java code um, that runs server-side and in this Java code it uses standard Java libraries to get the RSS data. The next control is the XPages multi-attachment custom control. This is an X page using this control. Right now there's one attachment in it. I can click this button and select another attachment, upload it, and I can delete it again. Okay, those were a couple of quick demonstrations about the tools and controls available for developers. If you want to get involved in OpenNTF, just go to our website, click on the Get Involved tab and find out how you can download code as a consumer and how you can contribute code as a developer. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.